being the only professor who is uh, specialized in resilience, community resilience, and using data-driven and machine learning approaches at AUC, I feel responsible for making people aware of building community resilience and enhancing community resilience. I started thinking, okay, I'm a construction engineer. Uh, my work is all about like community work, not only a building at a building scale, but also at a community scale. So I was, I started thinking, okay, why not develop um, models to predict what would happen in our communities as a whole if a disaster hits. So a natural hazard is basically um, any sort of um, hazard or something that can cause risk for people or communities. So for example, a flood is a natural hazard. It affects uh, people and communities. It becomes a natural disaster when there is an adverse effect that happened uh, to certain communities or certain people. So what is happening is basically uh, we as human beings and other industries, including the construction industry, is emitting a lot of carbon dioxide gas emissions. And this carbon dioxide gas emissions, um, they cause global warming. So the global warming is basically changing how our um, planet is responding to the different uh, temperature and precipitation related uh, matters. I'm helping to like bridge the gap between um, industry and research. So first of all, um, have a course to educate people about it in the uh, academia and then bridge the gap between the academia and the industry and make this usable in the industry too.